<clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Gu Xiong. I'm an artist living in Vancouver. I just uh, had a solo exhibition at the Touchstone Nielsen Museum of Art and History last summer. It called The Unknown Remains. So this exhibition was about immigration and labor issues. It, it included three parts. The first part is about Chinese immigrants in Ryosen through 1850s up to now. Then the second part will be my family migration uh, histories from 1990s up to now. And another will be those international migrant workers who work on the farmland across Canada. So those three parts together to form this exhibition. So the Touchstone Nielsen Museum of Art and Design, they published a, a, a catalog on my exhibition. So today I just uh, received it and uh, now I'm going to open to show you. Mm -hmm. Wow, I have a blue card to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the red color is related to Chinese uh, traditional color. Red means happiness. But I guess for immigration history, the first is something struggle, then be happy. So, wow, this catalog looks very unique because their design is bending as a traditional Chinese book for long 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 time ago. So I think this design looks great. It uh, up to the current the design very unique with a contemporary uh, design but also carrying the Chinese book binding to the current. I think that's wonderful. So as you see, the show called The Unknown Remains. The curator is Irene, Irene Faye. He, she is great. We worked together through last summer and made this exhibition. So, um, this is the uh, inside. There are several art articles wrote by Irene and also Astrid, who's the director, and also the independent director and the writer, Angel Hunter from Ontario. So, wow, it's uh, very beautiful. This, I, I just follow the, the design book. This catalog, the first uh, image is uh, on strike called on strike, uh, which is my my joint, large joint, chakra joint, is eight and a half feet wide by a, uh, five and a half feet wide by eight feet high, so it is a life size photo uh, uh, joint. So this joint record my my strike in 1992 when I was work at the UBC cafeteria as a busboy because we went on strike f to increase our salaries for two weeks. Finally, we did a win, but we lost the two weeks salary. So from that, I learned, you know, freedom, we have to pay for that, cannot be someone gave to you, is not, impos not possible. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's very great. Yeah, those are small joints. 
like three feet by three feet charcoal on canvas, which is the object we have used during the beginning five years in Vancouver to talk about our struggle between culture shocks. And uh, but from now on, this is uh, this is a page. Uh, you know, it is about uh, Chinese immigrants in Liaoxin. Yeah, it talk about their struggles, their contributions to to Liaoxin area. You know, I have choose a lot of photographs from. Uh, museum archives, you know, related to Chinese immigrants, you know, from newspapers, old photographs to talk about a journey is hard, a journey is long. So many turns. Now, where am I to speak out for those Chinese immigrants from Liuxin? Here is the installation of Lai Cultural Revolution sketchbooks from me. When I was like 19, 20 years old, I was sent to the countryside in China, in Sichuan province. You know, work as a labor, you know, but not knowing our future. So at a lot of time, I start to do my artwork start to do sketches under the oil night every night you know after finish working to recording my thought my feeling from that period of time you know now it's become very unique uh, documentary artworks for cultural revolution because that time people know cultural revolution only about through the posters but a lot from personal sketches for four years. So that was my first time to be a labor, you know, to, to link to my early migration in China. But this was also another image of, from my installation, A Journey is Hard for Liu's and Chinese Immigrants. This is the, the image of uh, uh, Charlie Bean's truck. He used this truck to, to ship the vegetables from his farm to the city of Liuxin to service the people in the city for his lifetime. So I went to his farm, you know, to, to took the photograph of his truck from 1930s and also the gallery also moved the truck door to be installed in front of this big photograph of that truck. That is great to have the original piece be installed in the gallery space. Um, <clears throat> so this page, which is a talk about uh, the international migrant workers working uh, in Canada from west coast to east work on the farmland to to work in the fruit field to work in the greenhouse or to work at the blueberry farmland you know we are very famous here so that is something is which is new to Canada so right now there are over 300,000 international migrant workers working in Canada every year because our farm needs them to work there. Without them, the, the, the farm cannot be so wide. So, but those products, whatever they have made, which is a lot recognized by our society because 
on their box, on their production box. There are a label that made in Canada, made in Ontario, made in BC. So their contributions to our societies, it, it is be erased. Mm. Yeah, so those books, but also to link to the history, you know, like this photograph from Liuson archive, you know, it's quite interesting to catch up my eye. A Chinese houseboy to hold a, a, a little boy, you know, at a time around the 19, uh, 1870, 75. This, this boy was from China, but without speaking English, he could only work in the house to make living, to survive. Even though people has no idea what his name was about. So those uh, two pages is kind of 16 immigrants from Leosan, from um, you know international migrant workers from Canada. So I made this installation on the wall, you know, to call it a river. So that is to show you about the migrations is not just the Chinese, but with many other different kinds of different minority of people to come in together as the river, you know, to come. But to lead to that, how to tie those uh, um, three parts together from my part, my migration from Liuzhan Chinese immigrants, but also from from those international migrant workers. So then I have created a cargo ship, cargo cargo boat. You know, within fifteen hundred um, uh, shipping bags to make this cargo because this is simplified migrations, simplified the labor issues, goods, and also the the globalizations. So as the laborers, you know, your contributions, how could be recognized by people, by companies, by its own cultures from different places. That is something I, I try to show that. But how also through this uh, ship, cargo ship, to link the local localization to localizations. Yeah, so there are so many things here uh, in this exhibition, but uh, this picture also showing three large joints of my family, myself on strike, my wife come to the new land but still feel no security, but my daughter, when she came here, she was seven. She also has to face to the culture shock to go through. Yeah, uh, oh wow, it's, uh, it's quite good, this. But also here also on other wall, I have created those two light box on the top, which is uh, inspired from the Chinese uh, restaurant light box and their slogans which is means working seven days a week 24 hours a day not just by one generation but through many different gen generations to serve the people in the society but also to fit into the mainstream society and the culture be a Canadian
I think probably that's very important to mention those. But here I also have to show you one photograph I've taken, which is from the uh, Lyosun archive. You know, this is a ginger jar. Ginger jar is from China. You know, the food is part of the culture. For Chinese people, we came here three, three generations, but we love gingers, we love garlic labor changes from one generation to another. So that is interesting, which is a very good symbol of traditional Chinese culture they kept to today. Yeah, so I hope uh, everybody could uh, see this catalog because of do it during the pandemic uh, time. There won't on, on, on be a book launch in, in the real time, but we will do it on time through so the virtual space to introduce this exhibition, but and also this catalog. I hope everyone will enjoy this. And I especially would like to say thanks to Irene Fay, the curator, and Andrew Hunter, who's the, the writer, write beautiful articles for this exhibition, and also us tried to make this exhibition be possible in Leosun. Thank you, everyone.